Hey guys, um, I just want to comment. I'm hoping this actually is in progress. Are you in? Okay. Hey guys, this is Wing Words, and I'm on it from uh, future. I did not realize that my video on Toki Toki Doki Doki, the one before this one that I made, got fucked up the whole thing. I didn't realize it until after I made the other one. And from what I heard, I can't go back unless I want to reset the whole thing, and I don't want to do that. So I'm very sorry if we skipped like a bunch of stuff that happened. I'm probably going to babble that I thought I had the video finished, but I didn't. So I want to make an apology right now. But I do want to say that if you want to watch it from another channel, I will make another content. I did hear from Tristan does appear in this video. I will not lie. He is funny as hell. Please watch it just for him. He is funny as hell and he does a bunch of funny crap in this video. But I will make a... He told me there's a secret ending to do this whole gameplay. So the other videos, uh, like I said, I made more videos. I stopped in this one. I made, I finished it on the other one. But when I finished the other one, the whole game, I realized that the one, the video that I was supposed to put didn't got put. So I fucked up. But I'll fix that. Enjoy whatever the hell my past me did at this point, and I'll be like it. What up, guys? This is Wing War Two Nine One. I am here with another Doki Doki. I'm gonna try to see if I can try to finish it. I know I've been taking a long time, so I'm gonna see if I can finish the game once and for all. Yuri expresses suddenly as she stares at her desk and focuses and starts to nod. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, what the? That was weird. Yeah, alright again. Give me a second. I'm gonna have to exit out of the game. Ah, uh, game gets corrupted sometimes. Alright, let's retry this. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway... That leaves you, Green Warrior. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> uh... Why is my hair all sideways? Ah, it's all messed up. Um, don't say that. In fact, both seem pretty heavy tasks to handle. Go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of the club members? How on earth am I going to respond on a, to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of... Well, even if you don't know how to book, there's always dirty work I could give it to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuko tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuko, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Green Warrior may not like to be around if you're only making him to be a nuisance, so therefore, he may be more suitable to assist with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. <laughs> yeah, you did. You said that. Don't lie. Don't lie to us. I could have to decorate you. Sounds more like you're making an excuse for Green or 2. What are you... <laughs> uh, it will be extremely meticulous work. 
and baking isn't? What do you think? Guys, guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's... Besides... He hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. Just saying. Jeez. Can we settle this already? Yeah. Anywhere you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Oh, oh god damn it. Uh, hmm. Shoot, I would have ended it in the episode last time, because then I would have had time to think. <laughs> um... I would go with Sayuri, but uh, as I said, that was my character said last time. He wants to kind of space it up a bit. Uh... I'll go with baking. Well, baking sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so it could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Huh? Just a minute ago, you were saying that that's because... <laughs> Never mind, okay? <laughs> well, anyway, you'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it, after all. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. G jealousy. I probably should have picked you. Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anyway, let else anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Y are you guys excited? Yes. Oh, see this pretty smile. I'm happy I got her to smile. Everything except the performance is going to be awesome. I don't think that really counts. Uh, you, Green Warrior. Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. Good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking. Oh, I am so sorry. I really am. What? What's up? Natsuko starts pounding, too. It's not... I mean, it's not a big deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little underappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... <clears throat> Let's take a glance back and forth between everyone with a worried expression. Look! Natsuko goes over and puts her hand on Yuri's shoulders. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here. And, and you're going to help make the event a lot fun and welcome me. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help too, but you're going to make the atmosphere special. That will be really important for the, pe the way the people feel during the performance. So, you'll n need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Tsuko releases her hands and turns her face toward the other direction. Oh, You didn't really mean that, did you? Um, not really, but... Yuri isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such courageous things. But I began to understand. Natsuki was trying to sound like Sayuri. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayuri would say all the time like this. Because Sayuri always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best, and all of us are going to make it a real great event. Really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best, but with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so fair enough. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone packs up their things. I start following Monica and Yuri out of the chat between each other. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> uh, soon to figure out our plans. Alright. <laughs> Dummy me. Um, 
he literally would have gone home and realized you, that you didn't even have a way to contact me. Oh, that's true. I have no idea how that slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. <laughs> I'm giving you my number, okay? You better not make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? <laughs> Natsuko gives me her number. Okay, I'm coming over s on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? I mean, <laughs> I'll just figure that since I'm the one helping, I would go to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could ever have a guy over my house and look at her mad. She's so cute. I gotta keep that in mind that she's so cute. And everyone says she's cute, so that's funny. But she is cute. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strict, if you ask me. Me from the game? Why would you say that? That, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, how do you think I feel? Can't do anything when my dad is home. Anyway, I just need a... Com Needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I needed from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. Alright, bye by me. I don't care. Yeah. I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so And cute smile again. So you'd better look be looking forward to it. Oh. Didn't you say you were going to give me the dirty work? <laughs> oh, I love this. Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in front of everyone. That was... Oh, sorry. That, I was looking forward to this. Wait, really? Oh, kind of. I never got to bake with someone else before. That's all it is. So, Alright, alright, I get it, I get it. Yeah, I actually get it. You didn't bake with anyone? You want to bake with someone? Fair enough. Sorry for overreacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you Sunday. What? What? Never mind. You can say it! Why did the game- I can't believe this. Natsuka is going to come over t to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school. More than- She told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this a chance that- To make something happen? Kid. Kiddo. Ring Warrior, me, from the video game. Boy, what do you want? You want to be in a relationship with her? Fine by me, I mean, you're the video game character, not me. Or is it too early for that? You see, even in video game mode, I'm still stupid. This, he's stupid. I'm decent. Only time will tell. But until then, I will be able to take my mind off. I seriously can't wait. Uh, okay, so, um, what happens next? It's already Sunday. Oh, wow. It took so long for Sunday to happen. I've been getting anxious about an reason. I kept telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Never does. I wonder if she'll act any different when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, she's been texting me a lot. We send each other one after... Wait, what? We send each other one after exchanging numbers to double check, but it turned into a conversation. She's almost a different person on the phone, using tons of emojis and cute language. People on the phone tend to be different from, um, talking in real life. She also really likes complaining about things, but I kind of saw that coming. But putting Natsuko aside, I haven't heard from Naira since she left the club the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but I've been worried, um, I've been worried butter in the back of my mind. Between what Sayuro said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayuro's feelings aside when she need, might need me? I decided to visit Sayuro before Natsuko came. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over much like we've done in the past. Once I reached Sayuro's home, I knocked on the door before entering it myself. Again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit simply entering each other's houses like we were family. The house is quiet. Sarah isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in the room. her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I head up to her bedroom, where I finally find her. Sarah? Oh, hello. You look cute. I sit down in her room. 
Tyra forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over at all. Like no, no, I haven't. I guess you're right. It's been a long time. Not much has changed, has it? The room is as messed. It doesn't look well. Maybe this. Maybe this. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, I don't know about that. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. <laughs> Came over more often. It wouldn't be such. A That's because I end up cleaning it for you. How did you know? Yeah, but wait, how did you know? Yeah, how did you know? Sarah had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. I got it, Monica. It's only natural for her to keep me informed. Oh, shoot, I didn't. Oh, I skipped it. Ah, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to help Monica today? Of course, but I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Ah, so it's just me. Yep. There's more silence between us. Cyrus stares in a random direction. Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. I know you too well. So... A smile shakes, shaking her head. What? Eh? Why can't it just be like... Ben, this is all my... I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings. If I didn't make that stupid mistake... What mistake? And you wouldn't have been worried about me all... all. When I've come here. Been thinking about me right... What? What mistake? What is this? No, it's not! I don't know what punishment you're doing. I'm getting punished for being- You're not selfish! Expressing your feelings is not selfishness. For all of you in real life, though, expressing your feelings to someone is not selfish. I mean, unless you're forcing them, but... But, um... It's not selfish. Keep that in mind. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over here today. It was... <sighs> the world doesn't decide. Me, really. Why are you s happy about that, Sire? The shoulders. What on earth are you saying? Are you listening to yourself right now? I know something happened to you. There's no ex other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be stop. I won't be able to stop thinking about you. About it. Uh, Sayuru gives me an empty smile. But you're wrong. What? Nothing happened. To me. I've always been like this. You're just seeing it for the first time. Seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayuri? Yeah. The thing is what? I am waiting. <laughs> what? I've had a really bad impression. Oh, I didn't write it right. For some reason I read something else. Ah, uh, you've been depressed. I kind of figured from the poems. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Most days I can't find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there anything when I fully know I- You're not worthless! No one in this world is worthless. Only stupid corrupt people are worthless. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste by having it on me? That's what it feels. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying. Sorry, but people are going to worry. The people who actually care. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. How is it possible that Sari kept this from me the entire time that I've known? Did she really want... So badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sairi? Why is it that you never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed as your close friend. Because if I knew, I would have done everything I could to support you. Even if there's 
only so much that I could do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. So I'm your friend. All you have to do is tell me. Hmm. What do I not understand? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted everything. Doesn't matter, you're important. And in real life, I'm the same as this idiot in the game. I care about my friends. I will do a, a lot of effort. I don't want... Oh, this is giving me flashbacks of a friend. Though. It's bittersweet when people try to kill. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like being swung against my head. Yeah, um, now I understand the smile and the very really creepy. You're, something was wrong. That's why I wanted so badly to, for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club feels like a spear going through my heart. Jealousy. That's why I decided I will. The world just wants to torment. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. Ah, uh, you're not wrong there. Why do you keep laughing? Stop it! You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayuri. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. Yes, Sayuri. Oh, come on, there's always something. Only thing that could have helped is if everyone could be like it w always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible... You're not a horrible person! <laughs> Throughout this whole conversation, I didn't even understand what you were a horrible person for. Pierce. You weren't being selfish. Mm, in a way. Now you can make you hurt too. You're not weak and you're not selfish. You're not. No, you don't. Thinking I won't grab. Oh, this time I pulled her tight brace. Or Sayeru. I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the group club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But plus, never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. What? Um, she starts sobbing next to my ear. What? Don't do what? Sarah barely m manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know I die. I care. You have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out who what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Tell me already. Stop. Stop with that, I don't know. Only Syrah finally puts her arms around me in return. Hmm. Oh, of course. What's scary? That's natural, actually. That's actually natural. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm in feeling. That's odd. Your hugs are so warm, and that's really scary too. Tyra lets me go. As she does, I let her go as well. Well, tomorrow. It's gonna be fun, right? How would you like for me to spend it all with you? What? It's not, uh... It's what I want. I promise. I I think that would be nice then. Yeah, it would be nice. I'm doing a nice thing. I'm your friend. Sarah whip 
wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all days, this had to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please don't. I should have picked her. Oh, I should have picked her. That's on me. That's all on me. My head deserves to be cut off for this one. Please don't. Uh, if you did that, then I really would. <laughs> oh, putting them in the spotlight again. Um, alright, fine. But it's almost time for Nesca to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. My surprise, Sarah shakes her head. Sorry, I don't know if that would be a very good for me today. You understand, right? Uh, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand. But I'm trying my hardest. Don't worry about too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, alright. I'll look forward to it. I say goodbye to Sayuru, Sayuri and exit her house. And um, someone's playing. Borderlands 2. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, oh, shoot. Okay, so I can see this. I'm playing through Steam. Y'all yeah, get it. Um... I see why an extra house on the way I find myself feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to come thinking about it when Natsuko is coming over too. I think Sayuru is right. I shouldn't be worried too much and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should focus on what's ahead of me. I spent only a few minutes back at the house anxious waiting for Nat Natsuko's arrival. Before I know, she texts me to let me know that she's outside the front door. Without delaying, I open the door to let her in. That cute smile. Oh, look, you have a kitty right here. I think. Sup? Hey. I don't know what I was expecting, but seeing in something other than her school uniform totally threw me off. Nah, nah, it doesn't throw me off. It's fine. Seeing her in such cute... Okay, you bastard. Um, seeing her in such cute clothing makes them uniforms seem totally unfitting in comparison. Jeez, don't make it feel awkward already. <laughs> it's gonna be a long afternoon, so don't be weird just because you're not used to seeing me outside of school. Anyway, I'm coming in. See, I, I see you brought a lot of stuff. Let's go carrying a large bag that is probably filled with baking supplies. Well, I didn't want to come all this way to find out that your kitchen isn't equipped for the job. That's actually smart. You got my respects. You got my respects 100%. You got everything I asked you to, right? Yeah, I did. Yesterday, Natsuka asked me to buy a bunch of ingredients if I didn't already have them at home. Good. Glad you, I can count on you to do your part. Oh, of course. I'm loyal, and I know what I'm doing. Well, this idiot over here is. I'm surprised to hear Natsuka suddenly say that, rather than some snarly like she usually could it be that she is a little different outside of school after all? Wait, let's go to the kitchen. Aren't we in the kitchen? What are you even, not even going to offer to this heavy bag? Oh, shoot. Um, you're an idiot, Grimoria. Where's your husband? Come on. Since when did I need to be a gentleman? I grabbed it holds out to me. <laughs> this is ridiculously heavy. What the hell? <laughs> oh, that cute smile is worth it. I carried that all the way here. Are you impressed? I see now. Yeah, I'm impressed. You bastard. Hey, Tristan. What's up? Nothing. I'm doing an actual live video on Doki Doki. And the viewers are all hearing you. You're cutting off again. What? Wait, what? Hello? Nah, stay on the line. Yeah, stay on. I need someone. Alright, so right now my character is with Nat Natsuku. Natsuki. Baking. I'm baking. I'm in the baking. I'm in my own kitchen. Alright, 
I'm gonna read my line. Yeah, I'm impressed, Natsuki. It seems like I always underestimate you. Wait, Tristan, where are you? I could probably put FaceTime so you can see. Oh, I'm driving right now. Oh, shoot. Um, fair enough. Alright. Huh? Alright, I won't, I won't. You do it. For me, or you can listen to me and probably comment. Alright, uh, it seems like I don't know, risk me, blah, blah, blah. Alright. Of course, her, <laughs> her little laugh. It's because I'm so small, isn't it? Now, why do small people think we underestimate them? That doesn't make sense. Nothing. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, you jerk. I'm not a jerk. When was I? Natsuko hits a fist into my chest. Hey, hey. Your size has nothing to do with this. At least my game version knows what I'm thinking, but it's kind of weird. All right. Do you really hate being small that much? Huh? Oh, look at her facial expression. That's interesting. Um, it's not like I hate it. I mean, sometimes I like pro proving people wrong when they when they only think I'm worth my size. That's worth it. I agree with you there. Prove them wrong, those who want to underestimate size. That's. Like, for example, and I, and I have Tristan here, when I beat him in the tournament, and he knows which one. No. Oh, he's going to always complain about that. Anyway, um, it's fun when I get to be small and also better than other people. I can agree with you in, to a certain degree, Natsuki. But, you know what? I'm just gonna call you Nat, for the sake that I can't say your full name correctly without messing me up, messing myself up sometimes. Natsuki! Alright, you'll correct me throughout probably the whole video. But, jeez, never mind. What? Oh my gosh, I hate it when they're always like, never mind, never mind. What are you making me say? Don't think you can make me talk about weird things you just because I'm not... No comment, no comment. I'm not commenting on that. Are we getting started or what? There's a lot of stuff I gotta teach you. Ha. Ha ha ha. Okay. Hey, Rob. Yes? I don't know, I'm just me or is the music for this game sound like Dragon Ball Xenoverse? It sounds a little Dragon Ball Xenoverse, yes. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, that, it sounds like Xenoverse, but we're not going to talk about other games right now. We're in Toki Doki 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 Literature Club. Dang, my my throat dry. Or what? There's a little bit more. I more like you. Wait, there's a little bit more like. You. Wait, I didn't understand that. You're more fun when you s just speak your mind like that. Hey, <laughs> now you're treating me like a kid. <laughs> No, I'm not. I'm treating you like a person. I was just trying to be a little nicer to you, you know? You're just being cool. Right, Tristan? Nothing. I, I don't think he heard. <laughs> he zoned out. And just okay. because... There's all kinds of other stuff in front of me. I'm sorry if I get you demonetized. All persons in front of me they are going to <laughs> okay, calm down, calm down, calm down. Alright, you okay? Yeah, um, be careful. I don't think so, we want to see you rage. I'm gonna have to cut this part out of the video. Oh. Alright, sorry guys. Um, Tristan went nuts for a second. 
Alright, and just because I don't have a mature and sexy figure like Yuri doesn't mean you should treat me like, oh god damn, okay, um, that's some weird. Uh, uh, serious face, serious face, serious. no smiles. Um, uh, Natsuki catches her words and her face turns red. <laughs> Natsuki! Forget it. I didn't say anything. I should apologize. Huh? I appreciate that you were trying to be nicer. I should have been a little more considerate too. But also, what, Tristan? Nothing, I'm just reading with the lines. Um, Green Warrior? <laughs> okay, I wouldn't do that. That'd be dumb. Um, but also, if it's what you're thinking, then you should know that there are tons of guys who are into body types. Types like yours. But uh, how would you know that anyway? <laughs> yeah, um, me from the game? Green Warrior, how would you know that? Just trust me on this one. I'm not a pervert, it's the damn character in my video game that is. Dot dot dot. I love that saying dot dot dot. Gross. <laughs> okay, Natsuki, that, that's not directly to me, that's directly to the idiot in the game. Hey, was that to me? Or who else? <laughs> alright, alright, fair enough. Why why are you an idiot, Green Warrior? Why why is Ronaldo here the me is smarter than Green Warrior here? Oh right, because it's a video game. Man, let's just get started already. Huh. There we go, the cute smile again. You get all sour when that girl calls you gross. I finally found your weakness. <laughs> Alright, Natsuku smiles deviously. Please spare me. Well, if Natsuko decides to dish out more insults like that, there's no way I'm fighting back. I'm not fighting back, I mean. But she's satisfied enough for now, finally starting to pull things out of her bag so we can get started. Before long, the whole kitchen is a mess. Spoons, dirty bowls, flowers spilled, flowed, fluid, and plastic bags are stewed about, about oh, every countertop. The mixer isn't big enough to make all the batter at once, so we've had to do it our for several times. Meanwhile, Natsuki is babysitting all of my movements to make sure I didn't mess up her precious baking. Green Warrior, where did you put the food coloring? The baiter's going to in the oven soon, so I need to fill the trays. I think it's still in the bag next to the table. What are you using it for? The color of the beta, of course. Batter. Yeah, whatever whatever you call that. What? What? Um, I'm fine. I'm uh, I'm uh, honestly fine. Of course. My throat dries up real fast for some reason. I'm making each tray a different color. That way, even if the flavors aren't different, everyone can still pick their favorite. That's a cute idea. Both video game and real life agree. Are we doing anything like that with the icing? Do you want to? Uh, say yes, idiot. You're the one that suggested it. You're asking me. God damn it, Green Warrior. I don't really have a performance, so. a preference. God damn it, I keep reading it. Come on. You're not putting any heart into this at all. Can't you at least try to have fun? I'm having fun. Video game. I'm 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 having fun because Tristan's here. I'm not really sure what Natsuki is trying to get out of me. Meanwhile, I see her separating the batter batter into small smaller bowls and put a few drops of food coloring into each. And he's cutting off again. Uh, that does look pretty cool. 
See? It's not like baking is about following instructions. I've I'm I've cook. I'm a cook at at a restaurant part time. And it's actually fun. So I imagine doing this would be fun. So be happy, Green Warrior. The presentation is where the presentation is where you get the create to be creative and have the most fun. It's a million times more worth it in the end if just looking at it makes everyone's eyes light lighten up. Like the ones you made on my first day, huh? I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat shaped cupcakes and Sayuri and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make that Natsuki proud like that too. Yeah, maybe I will use the food coloring then. Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter, so I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl of the ice for the icing. Hey, the icing's still all lumpy. Are you even trying? Well, yeah, I am trying. I would assume it'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs the whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. What, Tristan? Nothing, I'm reading dialogue. You, you really need to beat the crap out of it. <laughs> okay, I need to beat the crap out of it. Um, okay. Nah, I'm just, I'm just messing around. Um, after a few seconds, the constancy of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize, Natsuki stickies, sticks a finger in the icing and pops it in her mouth. I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your... I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your icing, eh? Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start fighting back, trying to inch my fingers toward the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next. Oh, this is priceless. I'd like to see you try. Oh, no, what the? Hold up. I'm not. I'm gonna make sure I save my battery. Alright, I'd like to see you try. I push. Hard enough for my finger to reach the icing. I triumphantly scoop some of my finger just as Natsuki tugs. Oh, dang it. Tugs with her all her might. Ha! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross. You got it on my face. Whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's che cheek. Ah, dang it! My, I need water. How convenient. Okay, I should be able to read now. Um, mm, she tries to reach with her tongue, but it's too far away. Jeez. You know what? Take this. Natsuko instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger towards my face. You wish? I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before it reaches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, but I grab that one as well. Oh, what in the... Tristan, you still there? Yeah. This is a very interesting scene going on. Hold on, let me FaceTime you. Oh, okay, okay, hold up. I'm waiting. Oh, shoot, okay, uh, connecting, 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 and 
We got Trist. Oh wait, camera's over here. We got Tristan, everyone. You can see him. Okay, so there. I'm right here. What an interesting scene. Ah, stop. Here, Tristan, can you read? Can you see and read? Ah, shoot, blurry. Um, what if I turn off the light? Hold up a second. Eh. Yeah. No, my internet's good. Can you see now? You're lagging. Up uh, here, Tristan. Can you read? Can you see and read? Uh, blurry. Ah, shoot, blurry. Um, what if I turn off the light? Hold up a second. Eh. Yeah. No, my internet's good. Can you see now? You're lagging on my screen. Oh, you're lagging on mine. No, what? No! No! I skipped an entire scene! Hold up. Oh, okay, go back to history. I know where I ended up. Well, don't you have your save? You can go back to your last save. No, I remember in history. Alright, I know where I was. You wish I, I got faster. I can't read it, but I played it. Before. You know where I am. Okay, I'm sorry for no. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't end up there. I'm lucky. I remember that there's history. You wish I grabbed it. Ha! Ah, stop. Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine. I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I didn't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to that. Wait. Sorry, react to it. You do that to me all the time. You know, saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. You really shouldn't tease a girl like that. Is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this either. Wait, what the hell did you do, Green Warrior? I take Natsuki's finger and put it in my mouth, licking off the icing. What? Did you seriously just... Uh, Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out uh, how to get mad at me. Okay, so let's return to the game. Her face is entirely... In Entirely red. Hmm. Interesting. What do you think, Tristan? I can't say anything. She reminds me too much of my sister. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Great warrior. <laughs> you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. I have no comment to that. Do you, Tristan? Her she got a point. Fair point. Okay, this feels wrong. I need my hat. <laughs> what? <laughs> I need my hat. This feels wrong. All right. Here, uh, those who want to see Tristan, oh, shoot, can't. Oh, well, he left the scene for now. All right. Uh, you know that, right? What is there a choice I can say that I like her? I guess or not? Dot dot dot. What kind of question uh, is she asking me? Just like that. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... Natsuki gazes a s at me in silence. I notice her shallow breathes. Why am I starting to feel dizzy? Why are you starting to feel dizzy? Oh, you want the diddly. <laughs> okay, Tristan, that's uh, funny. Eh. Oh, we're back. Uh... Out of nowhere, the fire alarm set starts going off. How convenient. I must have set off all our alarms. Natsuki rushes over to the oven. Is something burning? I say, dumbly. I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. Cough. No wonder. You left a dirty tray in here, dummy. Oh, well, I'm called a dummy again, and this thing came off again. Um, they're not wrong. Uh, wait, what do you mean they're not wrong? What What the hell? Jeez. Natsuki uses a, an oven mitt to grab and blanket tray out of the oven. She sets it on top of the sh stove. I'm stupid. In another moment, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah. Yeah, now it's awkward. It's completely awkward. Good job, you, you dumb version of me in the game. I'm 
more worried about the cupcakes. What do you mean about the cupcakes? They're probably all burnt now. Probably. Hold it a second. Now! Suck up, baby. All right, continuing on. Uh, the tension from the moment before still lingers over our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcakes trays into the oven. Then I recently picked up the whisks and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Look, I love that cute smile. That cute smile really makes me happy. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled yeah, out of the oven. Than the one you burned. Okay, Tristan. I'm not letting that go. You burned some freaking. I didn't burn any. De it's this dumb version. There's the Ronnie who's. who's oh, shoot. I, uh, damn it, I had the stupid bottle open. <laughs> well, I guess no matter what, whether it's video game mode or real life mode, I'm still an idiot. So. Damn it. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven oven door, a blast of sweat smelling warm air fills the room. Oh wait, I clicked the wrong one. Look at how cute they all look. She proudly shoves off the different colored cupcakes on each of the trays. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing into this bag. Natsuki hands me some plastic bag. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. This one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using it this time though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles at that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make strips or other pattern, patterns. But you can also use it to write stuff on a cake. Like, happy birthday or whatever. Hmm, I see. That, that gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We can make it more literature themed by writing a different word on each cup of the cupcakes. Um, Tristan, what do you think? Is That's kind of true. Makes sense. I think. Or connections? What the hell? Can you see? Well, I think it's a good of my part of doing that. Good job, me. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcake based on a word they like. Uh, hmm. I was kind of expecting you to yeah. say something really stupid. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't underestimate me. What? Oh, well, he left. I guess we're on our own. Um, anyway, that was Tristan, guys. Uh, if you... I'll put a link below on the stupid tournament because I didn't mention him in the tournament when I beat his butt and fair and square. Anyway, I was kind of expecting him to say something really stupid. But that's actually a really cute idea. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Maybe I'm getting it from you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Yes, you are. And oh, look, speak of the devil. He, speak he returns. What happened? Okay, okay. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. It's alright, it's alright. Um, here, uh, can you still see? I'm gonna have them see you a bit. No, don't worry, I know what's on. Once you keep speaking, you're good. Alright, come on. We're not at school anymore, nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Nice one. Well, 
Natsuki's voice trails off. Oh, same with me. Okay, thank you. What? I never realized how much the main character is a Good point. Because freaking... I mean, all the girls are in love with him. So it's like, take the advantage or something. Eh? Did you say something? No, nothing. <laughs> Alright, alright, I'll leave it. I'll let it slide. Let's just do the icing. Natsuki picks up the pace and fastens a nozzle onto each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we shouldn't be wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it. Without giving me a chance to think about before, Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we get each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all aside to admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together. Yeah, they are, aren't they? Oh, sorry, um, pick up. Uh, I wish you could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't right now, right? I don't see any harm in that. Well, yeah, but my dad's making dinner tonight, so I really need to save my appetite. Ah, Sire's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down 10 cupcakes already. And she would still eat dinner. Oh, come on, that's not just not... <laughs> that's unhealthy. Uh, I don't know, I I've seen people eat more than just that. Besides, my dad... Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much as of it as I can. Well, anyway... I was hoping we could have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slow. <laughs> of course it's my fault. It's always my fault. What were you going to say, Tristan? Totally a shame. About what? Not being able to read manga? Totally a shame. She has to go. Yeah, that is a shame. Okay, Tristan, you should have thought about that. It's not like you'll always have this chance. Man. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. Sounds like everyone in the world who does that to me. Sounds like all your exes. We're not going to go into discussion on that. We're not going to go into discussion with that. <laughs> that that that's too far. I'm cutting that out of the video. <laughs> you can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sari each carry some, then you probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I can do that. And don't worry, I won't let her eat, eat any. <laughs> her little smile. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Ah, uh, yeah. Again, think back to the conversation I had with Sayuri earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayuri always does listen to me, but at that point, it felt like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. You too. I'll walk you out, I guess. What do you mean, I guess, you idiot? You're supposed to do that. And I regret it. I still regret not going with Sayuri. I should have went with Sayuri. Sayuri. I. The only characters you know how to pronounce better the characters Dragon Ball. Shut the hell up. Um, it feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I ever had take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Oh, damn it, Green Warrior! What the hell is your? What do you want? Well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for helping me and everything. <laughs> Nose burned up for a second. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, what do you mean by that? Uh, for some reason, my nose was just burning for a second. Wait, Natsuki. Huh? What you said before about not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way all at all. I had fun today. 
you showed me how to bake, how how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over anytime, okay? I think it, that if possibly, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga or go out somewhere. Um, <laughs> well, she's awkward again. Yep, I guess he is. Lucky bastard. Do you really oh, mean that? Nothing. Are you, are you, are you attracted to the anime, girl? No, I'm not. I'm not. It's just this lucky bastard of the video game me. No, I'm not. I'm not 19. Yet. Note it. Post it for warning. I did... I did do the... Wait, wait, Tristan. I am not 19 when I made this video, but I am when it's posted. Keep that in mind, viewers. Not Twitch. Twitch, I'm 18 right now. You really mean that. We're on Twitch right now? Yeah, I'm on Twitch. What? Anyway, I'm continuing. Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah? I want to spend more time with you. That's what this... What my video game self said. Why? I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, oh, look, she's um angry again. Although I don't think that's anger this time. I'm sorry I had to leave you so early today. No, it's fine. You have to go home. That's understandable. I don't know why would you be sorry. Oh, she didn't want it to. Oh, she wanted to stay. That's a neat bonus for me. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you. So, oh, oh, she's closer. Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki. Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers clenching, getting gently clenching at my sides of my shirt as if holding on to me. Oh, dang. Okay, um. This is. Th th this is, um, progress. God damn it, Tristan. Um, he, her rose colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. What is happening? My head starts to go dizzy as if I feel her soft breath against me. I felt it for a while now. Wait, what? Oh, Natsuki suddenly jumps back. So, say it, Tristan, I can't say the name. Sayori? Uh-oh. Eh? Oh, good. Good job. This is awkward. Hi, Green Warrior. Um, hello again. Um, nothing was happening here. We were just having a friendly chat close, very close. Sayori? <laughs> just now we weren't... Uh-oh, uh-oh, um... It's okay, Green Warrior. I just stopped by to say hi. What? What happened? Uh, it's just all right. Well, never mind. I'm continuing on. I just stopped by to say, "All right." Uh oh. Well, it's awkward now. Well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out. So, oh really? Wow, rude. That's too bad. Yeah. Well, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow, so it's fine. Just don't need any cupcakes before then. Anyways, later. Oh, clearly fluttered, flustered, Natsuki hurries off, and Sayori wa waves back. Oh, goodbye. Damn it. I'm, I'm very tired. Sayori, I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh, well, I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was really was being really mean to me. So, what do you mean imagination? What do you thought now? So I had to come over here to see it for myself. See what? What are you talking about? You know, how much fun you were having with Natsuki. And how close you got to her. 
It doesn't make you happy. I see the tears. It's very sad. It makes it doesn't make you happy. You're torturing yourself. That you made such a good friend. That's all that matters. It oh my gosh, the Tristan, this is kind of annoying me. This is what I've been annoyed since the beginning of this video. She's always trying to Oh, this is I'm Tears start falling down Sayori's Sayori's face, correcting myself. That's all that matters to me. You see, you're crying. You're sad. Why am I feeling this way, Green Warrior? Because you have feelings for this character. You have feelings for the idiot in this game that's related to the idiot that's outside of the game. I'm supposed to be happy for you. Why does this feel like my heart's spling in half? Because you're in love. Tristan, say something. Why? Well, that's something. It hurts so much. Everything hurts so much. It, uh, this would be so much different if I could just... No, no, no. You're not disappearing on me. Sir, don't... Say or don't say that. <sighs> this reminds me too much of a friend. It was a while back, Tristan, a few years ago. Because it keeps bringing me the stupid flashbacks. Anyway, if I wasn't here, then you wouldn't... Shut up. Then you wouldn't have to wait... Oh my gosh, not this again. <laughs> you wouldn't have to put up with me being selfish. You're not selfish! Monica was right. What? I should just... Monica? Yeah, now what the hell? Monica was right about what? Sayori, what I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It is something that makes me happy. Something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So even if it takes me an entire lifetime... I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. But Sayori looks away. I put my hand on her shoulders to reassure her. Why are you scared? There's nothing to be scared. I'm here, and we got my buddy here who's on the phone, but still here. Tristan, say something. She's scared. I don't know what to say. Goes away. What happens after that? You can't just be like, "Hey, the bitch." Oh, damn it. Anyway, continuing on. What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that that I might like you more than you like me, Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Green warrior. I like you so much that- okay, don't- For the people who are watching this, you can love someone, but not to the- to you. So, not like this line, I like you so much that I want to die. Not to that point. Don't get to that point. You'll lose it. Trust me, you will lose it. That's how I feel. And, and Just play the game and don't play World's Doctor. <laughs> I love World's Doctor. I'm Dr. Ron. Alright, anyway, that's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my hand down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. On, in my own. Do you remember how I said I always know what's best for you? Do you still believe in me? Wordless, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your feelings, I know what you need the most right now. That's why I'm going to give it to you. Oh, dang, um, so either I love you, or you'll always be my dearest friend. Um, uh, I'm saving- I'm, sa I'm, I'm saving this progress, and we're ending the video here, because I ha- um, I have passed my limit of how much I have to record this. <sighs> all right, all right. Do not end it here. Just save it, though. I saved it. 
So now, what are you gonna choose, or would you rather me choose for you? What are you gonna choose? Depends where you can choose. No, you choose first. You're the one that said it. I love that little thing. <laughs> I have to agree with you there. All right, we'll continue with you for a little longer. All right, well, these are the words. To... Am I close to halfway? All right, then I'll I'll play a little more then. All right, so Sayori, I love you. There, it. Those are my true feelings. Although the last couple of minutes, or well, a few when I was in the baking part, didn't seem like that. So there's no way you could like me more than I like you. I should have realized it sooner. But spending time with everyone at the club. Making new friends and having fun with you every day, it helped me realize that you are truly the most important person to me. That's why I'll accept any of your burdens, as long as we continue like this every day. With you by my side, and with Tristan's stupid connections, then I, I know we'll both be happy. Yes? Oh, a hug. Suddenly... Sayori wraps her arms tightly around me. Oh yeah, is this really okay? Yeah, it's okay. Well, I wanted to be. I hold Sayori in my arms and pull her closer. Oh look, this guy has brown hair. I have black hair. Seems we have a big difference there. You'll never have to let me let go of me again. Thank you. That's a very nice um, thing to say. Then forever shall we be together. Me too. Dot dot dot. I feel Sayori's grip around me weaken a little bit. What is this? Sayori? I'm supposed to be happy right now. I always thought this would be the happiest moment for me. But why? You know? Why when the rain clouds go away? They're not going away at all, Green Warrior. It's okay, Sayori, everything will be okay. The rain clouds are just being stupid. It might take some time for things to get better again. Fair enough. But no matter how long it takes, I'll be there every step of the way. That's all that matters right now. Uh, okay. Oh, she trusts me. That's a good thing. Good thing for me, I win. Sayori and I slowly release each other. So, I guess the festival tomorrow is our first date, huh? <laughs> Laugh. You're still there. <laughs> what are you saying? I don't want to think about those things, you know? I want everything to be the same as it always be. But, okay, I'm not even commenting. No comment. No comment. Just continue. Even if we're really a couple. I don't know if I could handle anything more right now. It's really new and scary to me. I understand. Tristan, do you understand? Yes, I do. Well, go at whatever place suits you best. Yes? Sir. <coughs> Sayori gives, gazes at me once again, smiling sadly. Even if I get really, really sad... This is the best thing for me, right? Uh, I don't really understand what Sayori means by that. What do you think she means by that, Tristan? Uh, I don't know. Mm, I doubt you. I doubt. I don't trust that answer. Are you saying that this is making you feel sad, Sayori? Oh, she doesn't know. Well, I'm not surprised. I don't understand what I'm feeling. It feels like a bunch of thorns when you told me you love me. But that's why I want to trust you. You know what's best for me. Yeah, I do. I'm your friend. I do. That's my promise. Well, what do I know about promises in both real life and video games? They never tend to accomplish. I say that, but in reality, I never felt more uncertain than when it comes to Sayori. <laughs> you see, he's an idiot. He is an idiot the whole time. I know that I love her and she loves me. 
but I'm having so much of understanding, say, Yori's feelings as she is. Even though I can comfort her, I keep wondering if I should be doing something more or something different. I know those thoughts will continue to plague my, me until things are back to the way they are. Where? Is that what Sayori m meant by not wanting anything to change? I don't know. But I know that I'll give it everything I've got. Sayori is the most important person to me, and I'll do whatever it takes to make to have a happy future with her. Okay, my friend. It's the day of the festival. We made it to this day now. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'd be walking to Sayori school with Sayori, but Sayori isn't answering her phone. That's concerning. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but decided that's a little too much. You're an idiot. You should do that. Meanwhile, the preparation for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself by carefully stacking two trays. Natsuki is already texting up a storm, but I can't respond. Thanks my hands being full. Funnily any enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over so I can spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. You player, you son of a gun. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. I am confident you have something to do with everything. I know it! That smile is so creepy and beautiful. You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. I'm always early. Tristan even knows I'm always early. That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little booklets on each of the desks in the classroom. They must be the ones she prepared at that has all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like, and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You think that on days that is this important, she'd try a little harder? I say that, but I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. And I suddenly feel awful at knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after You should have, you dummy! Well, you should... Really well, it's a dumb because A, it's an important event so you want everyone there, and B, you just said you love her and you know she's depressed so you should be the one there at every step. Mm -hmm. This guy ditched her. I wouldn't have. He's an idiot. I'm not. You should take a little responsibility for her. Yeah, you see, we're all giving you hell, Green Warrior. Except Tristan. I don't know what he thinks. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday. You kind of left her hanging in this morning, you know? Exchange? Wait, how the hell do you know? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president. That's an excuse. I'm on to you, girl. I'm on to you. But I stammer <laughs> embarrassed. Did Sayori really tell her about it that quickly? That we're a couple now? I didn't really plan on bringing it up to anyone yet. Jeez, you don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry. I probably know a lot more than you think. Considering your tip of saving the game, I have a suspicion. I mean, no, that's not what threw me off. What threw me off was her stupid writing tip of saving a game. That is making me uncomfortable. Now I'm thinking that she has something to do with this. I wanna, I, I'm gonna continue on and see what happens next. Eh, uh, Monica is being, Monica is being as friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt chilled down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pan? Let's. They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. I grabbed one of the pamphlets laid out on the desks. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this would definitely help people take the club more seriously. Yeah, I thought so too. I flipped through the pages. Each member, 
Each member's poem is nearly printed on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki's and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during our practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. For the love of God. Get out of my head, get out of my head. It's just a bunch of get out of my heads. For the love of God. Uh, what is this? Reading the poem, I got a pint in my stomach. Being warrior, what's wrong? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, I, I'm just probably going crazy. That's probably true. Oh, well, he's going crazy. I'm normal still. This form feels completely different from everything else Sayori write, written. M but more than that, I, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah. Oh, alright. Try not taking too long, okay? I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls out after me. I quickly pay, quickly make, ah, I quickly, I quickened my pace. Uh, what was I thinking? I should have tried a little bit harder first. Yeah, what were you thinking? I'm not, I'm going to give you so much help. It's not a big deal, at least waiting for her or help her wake up. Even the simple gesture to, of walking her to school makes her rea really happy. Besides, I told you yesterday that things will be the same as they always have been. That's all she needs, and what I want to give her. Yo, can you watch the camera? I can't really see the screen. Wait, what? What, you want everyone to see you? Oh. There, everyone sees no, you. Oh, I, I can't see. <laughs> Sorry, I want everyone to see you. I reach Sayori. Do you see now? Yeah. I knock on the door. I didn't expect an answer since she's... She's not picking up her phone either. I guess I open the door and let myself in. Sayori? She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking up her up in her own house. That really is something that a boyfriend would do, isn't it? No, no, but in this case, maybe. In any case, it just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on her door. Sayori! Um, uh... Okay, I don't know, y'all probably didn't heard that, but I tried making a noise of a knock. Wake up, dummy! There's no response. Why you say dummy? That's kind of a dumb thing to say. I really didn't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? At this point, when when someone tells you they're depressed and they're not responding, um, no, screw that. But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door, very carefully, because I don't want to be a stupid idiot. Oh, what the? Um. Uh, why? 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 Is that what I think it is? She. She hanged herself? Oh, oh, oh. Alright, that actually kind of brings a tear. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah, what the hell? God damn it, why are my eyes watered? Is this a nightmare? It has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. I, I suppressed the urge to vomit. Good job. We haven't vomited at all in our entire lives. Don't you Dare screw that, even in a video game. Just yesterday, I told Siri I would be there for you. I told her I know what's best and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would you do this? How could I be so helpless? What did I do wrong? Confessing to her? 
shouldn't have confessed to her. I feel like if you choose the other options, we're like, I should have confessed to her, I should have confessed Like, it doesn't feel like it matters that choice. That's not what Sayori needed at all. She even told me how painful it is for others to care about her. Then why did I confess to her and make her feel even worse? Why was I so selfish? This is my fault. My swarm thoughts kept telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and remained friends with her like it always has been, I regret it. I regret not spending time with her instead of Natsuki. Then I could have prevented this. I know I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club. Screw the festival. I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I can bring her nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. Hmm, that's an ironic line. That's really ironic. Interest is my witness, and all of you are what my witness. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But she, I still couldn't do what she needed for me. Now, I can never take it back. Never. Um, is the game stuck? Oh. The end? Is that the end? Really? What the hell? What the hell? Whoa, 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 what in the name of... What happened to you? Uh, oh no. Play through the game again. Uh, what? Save file corrupted? How is it corrupted? Uh, what in... I see an annoying girl running towards me and, and the attention draws herself. This girl is... That are my neighbor's screams. You know, kind of different. What is going on? This is not right. As long as we know each other, we used to walk together and try. But she's going off chasing after me like, it's like the beginning of the game. However, I sign up and let Sayori, because I know it's Sayori, catch up to me. Uh, is the game seriously crashing? Wait, I'm not ending it here. I'm not ending it here. I'm continuing on. What? You're not leaving? Okay, guys. I guess I'm it. Okay, I'm ending it here, guys. I'll see you next time. Um, well, I guess the horror is not done yet. I guess I'm just beginning. Later.